Thank you. 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 And we're very proud that it is going to house a new opportunity. And for the person to announce and tell us about the new opportunity, let me introduce to you our Congressman, Congressman Chalice. Congressman? I'm here to announce some help, um, uh, a federal partnership uh, for something that, that truly is uh, a federal function. It is uh, uh, a function of maintaining the, and protecting the public safety through the food that we eat and produce here in this country. And it is apparent as uh, the newspaper has uh, uh, been covering what's been going on in downtown. Uh, there is an economic development strategy around food science. And that's as it should be here in Battle Creek, Michigan. And so this Food Protection Training Institute is in my mind, an important, critical part of Battle Creek's resurgence and um, uh, developing a real um, center of, uh, of, of intellectual, intellectual knowledge-based uh, development around, around food and food science and food protection. And so today, uh, and I wish my two Senate colleagues who are very supportive and it also put in a appropriations request car 11 and debbie stabenow they're not able to be here but the three of us collectively uh put forward uh funding requests in the house and senate my request was in the house agricultural appropriations bill uh and uh, i'm here to announce that uh as soon as the president signs a bill that the house passed uh late thursday the senate passed thursday night the agricultural appropriations bill will include one million dollars for Battle Creek's International Food Protection Training Institute. <laughs> my hope and expectation is that that's just the start. First of all, um, very much want to thank uh, you, Mark, for the effort that you put forward because uh, when we started talking about this, it was, uh, well, let's just say we got more than a chuckle or two uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the hallways of... Uh, of uh, not from me. Not from Mark, but uh, from some others. And uh, it actually was Congresswoman DeLauro who was uh, very supportive from the very beginning and uh, uh, worked with Mark uh, early on to uh, start to bring this funding to a reality, and um, we we couldn't uh, be more more uh, grateful and thankful for the for that effort. Um, and as programs uh, are hurt by the economy uh, at all levels of government, uh, you know one of the first things that goes is is training, and uh, and in fact, uh, if you look at at training around the United States, uh, just as the system is kind of a a, a, a quilt of different pieces. Uh, training really has been to that. There is no standard uh, that, that inspectors are trained to, uh, and we want to change all that, and that really is what this is about. 